how uh, back for your fifth season, uh, how excited are you to, to get back out there on the court with the guys? Yeah, just super grateful to be back. Um, it's uh, It's been pretty cool just to get another year and uh, be back with our guys. I feel like we did a really good job this off season. Um, so super, super excited what these next few months are going to bring and glad to play in front of Flames Nation again. Colin, I would say you feel like you've grown a year ago at this time, you know, just kind of getting into it compared to where you are now. Um, I would say the biggest thing is like leadership and vocally just trying to come out of my shell a little bit and just be myself like I was in high school. And uh, there was flashes of it last year, but with Kyle and uh, Coach McKay and all of, like the vets on the team, they're just and, like they're just telling me to just be myself and really just like becoming more of a vocal leader. Kyle Derry's been on the court the entire time of your career until now. How different is it without him on the court in the locker room and hanging out? Yeah, I think Darius's impact was like everybody will see the twenty three points or whatever he averaged, and obviously um, that's irreplaceable. But the impact he made on us as, as people in the locker room. That's So having guys like Colin and JV and some of those younger guys step into that leadership role has been huge. And um, just, it's been cool. Different roles. Obviously, we miss them, but it's been it's been great, man. Colin, this is your second season. After your freshman year, what are you changing going, about your approach going into this now that you know what's ahead? Um, I wouldn't say, like, the approach really changes. Maybe the mindset a little bit. But, I mean, our team is – we're, we're really, really good right now, and it's not anything that I have to jump into. Like, we have another great guard in Caden Matheny, who I've loved playing with this offseason. Kyle's, I mean, he's back for a fifth year. He's improved a lot. We have so many young pieces that just continue to get better. So just staying myself and just uh, whatever, like, happens on the court, it'll happen and just take what the defense gives. Kyle, your freshman year, was that a or a big job? a last year in Vines. Okay. So I think it was second year a Okay. Crazy. What are you guys most excited about Conference USA, like seeing these new teams and the new competition? I think the new travel is always fun, like different locations. and um, It's always fun going out to like team meals and stuff. Like during COVID, we really didn't get to do that. So last year was cool, kind of go out as a team again. And uh, Mama Chels always takes care of us. So going to the different spots is always fun. New arenas. I got to second that, just as well as the travel and everything. But it's just a new, new environment with everything. Uh, how other teams will play, how we will be able to adapt. There's just going to be a lot of challenges, but we're up for the challenge. Colin, you mentioned uh, Caden a little bit. What about some of the other uh, new guys? What have you seen out of them so far? Um, a lot of maturity. Um, I know it's, it's hard coming in as a freshman and trying to find your spot and everything, especially I'm not a transfer, but I would assume it would be the same as a transfer. But they're fitting right into our culture, um, locker room, out on the court. I mean, it's just it's really fun to now get to see newcomers come in instead of being the newcomer. And Kyle, what, what type of growth have you seen out of the guys that were freshmen last year? Colin, also Zach, uh, Coach McKay was talking about how much they, uh, how impressive they were last year, but also how much they've grown this summer. Yeah, I think you just see their confidence continue to grow. And um, I think in this system especially, like you try to find your way as a freshman of, hey, how can I get on the court? And then once you do that, like they've done a great job expanding their games uh, within our system. And, and guys like Ben Sutherland and some of those guys too have really improved. So. Super excited about them, and uh, they're just con- going to continue on the culture and uh, the way it's been here. So, Kyle, how much from last season to this season, Coach McKay mentioned the growth that you like, made from last year to this year. Do you identify those areas yourself that you want to improve on the end of last year? Is it the coaching staff coming to you with suggestions? How does that process work? Yeah, I think it's a little bit of both. Like We just uh, collaborate is kind of how we, we term it here. I think that's what the coaches do so well is they're not – Nobody's above anyone in this, so it's it's really just a partnership. So um, after the season last year, just felt like there were some areas I could help uh, our team grow in. If I improved in the off season, feel like I've done a done a good job owning that, and feel like a lot of guys have. So super excited uh, about the growth of our team individually and uh, collectively. And Kyle, how excited are you to have uh, Shiloh back alongside you as well? Yeah, man, I'm super excited. He. Uh, it would have been so weird without Shy, especially as the guy came in with my class. And I'm just super grateful he's back. The leadership and the growth that he's had in the time we've been here together is probably bigger than anybody I've ever seen. So it's been awesome. How much has uh, Coach McKay changed since being a grandpa? I still, still the Coach McKay <laughs> we all know. So <laughs> bad joke. His bad jokes haven't improved. No, I'm just kidding. He's, he's good, man. Yeah.
Tough, tough subject. Tough subject, Tim. No, he gives us the lessons. So he's he's got to learn from him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you approach this off season differently, Colin, than last off season? Just knowing what a full season feels like from Division One basketball. Um, I would say the thing that I would take away is it's been a long off season. This is my first time. We started in April, and we've been going ever since. So this is like this is the first time I've experienced that. So just that alone, it's a it's a lot different. And watching how a fifth year approaches every day this summer of he's going in and getting his extra work, it pushed me to do the same this summer. So watching others and then being able to whenever he's gone, it'll be my turn to do so. So just being able to learn from the people that come before us is all this program is about. So just continue that on is going to be the biggest thing. And how different is it for you going into the second year? I mean, a year ago now, I didn't remember the talks of red shirting or how does Colin fit in and, and all this sort of thing. But then, I mean, you started from day one. And, and But now knowing that, having that experience, having you know, that knowledge, how much does that kind of help you maybe take a next, the next step this year? Um, like Kyle was talking about confidence, I think that's the biggest thing. But our program is really good about not listening to any of the outside noise, like, to be honest, I didn't even know that that was like a option was red shirting. So we do a real good job of just keeping our business in the locker room and out on the court, and then even off the court, we're very we we want like we love each other, we want what's best for each other. So we're very good at just keeping our stuff, our stuff.